It's a local business that's five generations strong. And while many of the recipes and best practices are still in place, one member of the family has found an artistic way to produce some viral and very tasty marketing. Today we're talking about the art of pizza art. The first thing I did was uh, pretty basic. It was a, an American flag. And uh, it was really just a matter of like, it was the 4th of July and you know, I was trying to think of something fun to, you know, that I could, we could offer people, you know? And it was really easy design, you know? It was just uh, some pepperoni for the stripes, olives for the stars, and it was really popular. You know, people really liked it, and it was like a fun thing people could get for their cookouts and whatnot. After that, I did a similar thing with the Patriots logo when they were in the Super Bowl. Again, it was it was super popular. You ended up being a thing on it in the journal. News stations picked it up, which was really cool and exciting. You know, so then I started thinking about like, what else can I do with this? Because uh, up until that point, it was very basic, very simple. You know, I, I didn't want to spend more than like an hour making a pizza. What's the longest it's ever taken you to put one of these together? I, I it's about four hours. Yeah. There might have been one that was like four and a half hours. But that's been that's been the longest for sure. It's a fine line because I want to keep them affordable as possible. You know, so it really depends on what people want. If people want something really detailed and really intricate, then I'm happy to spend as much time as I can on it. If someone wants something really basic, then I'm happy to do that for them too. So what is the history of Palmieri's? This particular bakery was my grandfather, Dominic. My Great, great grandfather opened the original Palmieri on Federal Hill. And then my grandfather branched off in the early 70s and opened this place. Um, and so he started it and uh, my dad runs it now. And I work here, my brother works here. We have a lot of cousins that work here. It's a like true and true family establishment. How has the bakery fared during this COVID season? We've been busy during this whole COVID thing and. You know, we feel very blessed that we've been busy. Our customers have been very loyal and good, and we've tried to make them feel comfortable and tried to take all the steps we can to make sure they feel comfortable and whatever we can do. Uh, and it's definitely, it's been challenging, but we've been, we've been very blessed. So for all the outlining, and the uh, facial details and all that stuff, I used some black olives. For the skin, I used chopped chicken. For the irises of the eyes, I fortunately I can't do blue, so the closest thing is green. Actually, it's a pretty decent substitute, so I used oregano for that. And then for the hair, I'm using thinly sliced breaded eggplant. And then to do some finishing touches on the coloring and stuff like that, I'm gonna use some garlic powder to lighten up parts of the hair. And uh, I'll use some sliced onions as well, just to give a little bit of an accent to the hair. And then roasted red peppers for the lips. And then I always sign it in barbecue sauce at the end. A project like this requires checking your work as you go. Eric uses his iPhone to snap a quick pic. A lot of times I'll do it right after I do the face. Sometimes it, when I'm doing it, it looks like everything is where it's supposed to be, but then when I go to take a picture, like a bird's eye, I realize the eyes are too low on the face, or the, the mouth is way too big or whatever. Um, and when I say way too big, it's like I said, like sometimes it's just moving it a half a centimeter and it makes the world a difference. So at the end, I'll do it too, just to make sure I didn't forget anything. So like, I just realized when I took the last picture that I didn't have eyebrows. So I was like, I'm gonna put the eyebrows in. Um, so that's one thing. Also just make sure the coloring, the shading looks okay. Again, like from here, you know, the shading looks totally different than it does from, you know, from like a straight on view. Unlike painting and drawing and things like that, where you know you can kind of fix your mistakes, um, it's a little bit harder. With with food, it's actually pretty easy. I can always just move stuff. But um, things like the eyes and the nose are so delicate, and I spend so much time doing them that if I move beyond it too much, and then I got to go back and change it, it can take a whole other 45 minutes just to fix it. Um, so I try to make sure it's right as much as I can before I get too far uh, in the process. My name is Eric Palmieri, I'm a fifth generation Italian baker, and I turn pizza into art.